Hello, everybody. First and foremost, I want to say Merry Christmas to everybody. I hope you guys are enjoying your family, spending time with your kids, taking care of your wives, husbands, whatever it is. Everybody's in good spirits, but holla, 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 holla holidays. Um, people keep asking me a simple question. I guess it's time for me to give them a simple answer. You know what I mean? So, what is the question? Everybody keeps asking me. Why do I keep wearing my gun around the house? Why do, uh, why do I always have my weapon on me? Well, I guess I can answer that question. Well, for one... Well, if a criminal had a gun, you know what they would tell you? Like gangbangers, convicted felons, if they had a gun, they would tell you, I'd rather get caught with it from the police and not need it, and not need to use it, versus get caught without it and actually need it. That's what a criminal would tell you why they have their gun on them all the time. But then you ask me, why do I always have my gun on me? Open carry in the house? Well, open carry, easy access. Um, open carry on videos? Everyone knows. Nobody has to question. If we want to go beat up and stalk and kidnap and hurt Cecil and his wife and kid, then it's going to be a hard job because you're going to have to level up to me in order to succeed because we do protect ourselves legally in this house. But you want to know the real reason, main reason why I carry around my house even when the cameras are off and why I have security cameras over there uh, recording all the way around my house 24-7 because I've had people from YouTube and off of YouTube coming around on my property scoping looking for shit to steal and trying to break in my house because I live in a bad neighborhood when people break in your house and they find people home their attentions is not to, to go in and hurt somebody their attentions is to go in and break in and steal and get valuables not expecting anyone to be home what kind of world do we live in we live in a crazy nutcase mint mentally ill earth where there's nutcases who will do bad things to people. Do y'all watch the news? We live in the 11th most dangerous city in the country. The Cincinnati Tri-State. It's usually in the 8th place of the most dangerous in the country, but not right now it's at, at the 11th most dangerous. Okay? I've had people describe to me in my live stream chat exactly what my wife and kid are wearing as they walk outside to go take my daughter to school. That's when I was a felon and I wasn't allowed to have a gun and I didn't have one. So, you asked the question, why do I carry a gun? Because I got people making sideways threats about my wife and kid and what they're wearing as they walk out the door. If you was a man who had two females to protect, would you? If you was a 42-year-old man with good health, would you want to continue to live healthy so you can be on this world? So you can watch your daughter grow up, watch your kids grow up, and be here to help protect them? Guys, please quit asking me silly questions when you already know the answers. We live in a dangerous world. There's been cases where this gay female couple just got married and went on their honeymoon and went camping and was murdered by a closed-minded, 
homophobic raids or hillbilly out in the country. Just guns them down just because he didn't like their political beliefs. People get shot and killed all the time just walking out of their house for no reason. Just because some young, inspiring gang member wants to be initiated in a gang. Do you know what gang members have to do in order to join a gang? They get beat in and they have to put in work. You want to know what putting in work is? It's when you go and you hurt somebody, whether they're another gang member or an innocent civilian. People are getting kidnapped and sold to the sex trade. Kids are getting kidnapped and harmed in the worst ways. Women are getting kidnapped and harmed in the worst ways. And men are getting kidnapped and harmed in the worst ways. So you ask yourself, why do I legally arm myself in a house where there's two women that I need to protect? I think you know the answer. Well, hold on, before I go, why do the police wear their guns everywhere they go? We don't need to answer that.